rightly so, said, it really depends on the organization because every organization defines those roles differently. I will tell you, in my experience, whenever they throw engineer on there, as opposed to op, um, officer or operator or something like that, engineer usually implies that you're working with a larger range of technology. This is just my experience, and I'm sure it differs from place to place. But what, from what I have seen, if if they throw the engineer in there, you're going to be working with many different technical people, meaning you're going to be working with firewall people, you're going to be working with uh, server people, you're going to be working with, you're not like defined in one role, you're somebody having to look at everything, like you're having to, you have a larger scope because you're, you're the person that's going to be either putting those things together and making sure they work properly together, or you're going to be documenting and making sure that they all flow in accordance with, um, the business operations of the organizations because I've been in the information system security engineering role before and that was what we that's what I did I I would I'd have to work with the program manager the upper level managers the C level execs sometimes I have to brief them and I'd be taken from the firewall people to to tell explain why there's this rule here um, and then I'd have to go talk to maybe physical security to make sure that the the pass an id uh card works or something like that and i i wouldn't be like i i wouldn't know everything about the firewall i don't have hands on on the firewall necessarily i don't have i'm not an expert at the physical security i'm not an expert at this or that thing but i know enough about them to make sure that they all work together that that would be my main function as a any kind of any time i've had a system security engineering role that's what i was doing another time i've had a the engineering piece in there was uh i was uh what else did i do arc site engineer and that's the same thing i had to i'd have to work make sure that arc site which is a seam technology worked well with the mcafee products i'd have to make sure that that the build was in scope like it, it didn't it didn't cost too much money you know things like that so information system security engineering in particular that's exactly what they do what they're doing is they're working with parts of your organization to bring the technology together. Now, let's talk about an information system security officer. It's a little bit different. So their role is mostly dealing with risk management framework, and they're dealing with the process of making sure that the technology has a certain level of security on it. They're not necessarily hands-on a lot of times. They, they could, I've, I've been in roles where I was hands-on. I was an ISO, but I was also working directly with the system security uh, uh, engineer. Or I was working to, to directly with the system administrator. And we were sitting down, literally putting security controls on a system. Like we had a checklist and we were one by one putting security controls on a system, backing it up, making sure it doesn't crash, things like that. So just to answer your question from a high level, this ISO, the Information System Security Officer, is normally involved with the process, the day-to-day -day process of continuous monitoring and making sure the risk management framework process is being done throughout the environment. And they're making sure that the security controls are effectively installed and implemented on the, all the components of the organization. This Information System Security Engineer is more it's a it's more technical in that you're making sure things work and making sure that the security is in place with all those systems together so you might not have a super deep role in risk management framework that being said some organizations blur these lines where you have your information system security officer is doing exactly what i just explained for the engineer and the engineer is doing exactly what i just explained for the information system security officer and I know that's confusing, but the thing is, it really depends on what the organization sets as the as their definition of those roles. I wanted to show you guys some other questions I had here. But before I do that, you guys should know, if you're interested in, I get a lot of new folks watching me, um, they're, and they're wanting to get into cybersecurity, information system security officer work. They're wanting to know how they can improve their resume. If you're curious about it, go to ComboCourses.com. The link of that will be in the description below. And what you'll see there is how to get into cybersecurity. I've got tons of free stuff there. People sign up to these every day. I get people sign up to the free stuff that I have. But I also have... Um, 
uh, deeper level things where I'm um, where I'm teaching you how to market yourself. This is a really big thing that many nobody nobody talks about this. But you have to market yourself, market your resume. How to write your resume is what I have, and then how to market that resume, how to market yourself. Very very important because there's so many people with a similar skill uh, a similar skill set as you. You got to be able to set yourself apart, and so that I've got a whole course on that. I've got other courses that go deep dive into risk management framework and as you get into these I'm constantly updating these things as a matter of fact I recently updated um, this one remote work I I'd recently updated this one and I'm about to update uh, the risk management framework documentation piece is about to up get updated really soon as a matter of fact if I wasn't doing this video right now I'd be updating I'd be uploading more videos to that one and or recording more videos because I got some stuff on deck for that I've got some other stuff coming, so even if you're not interested in any of this stuff, what you can do is just sign up for free and wait around for me to do something like the cap. 